Hello guys and obviously welcome to this week's episode of Pokemon Hard Gold with Rare Kitsune. Like my playthrough of the Pokemon series. And if obviously this is the first time you're checking out the series, you might want to rewind because there's been quite a few episodes now. I believe this is the ninth episode. Um, I'm pretty sure that's correct. But I don't tend to make mistakes with numbers. With pretty much everything but numbers, yep, no mistakes all the time. But with numbers, no, I'm pretty good. Um, Obviously, it's daytime now, so uh, <laughs> hopefully it's going to be a nice day in the Pokemon world. It's actually not that bad weather here in Aberystwyth today. It's not like overcast, but it's it's not like super sunny, just like a little bit cloudy. But you know, it's warm, I've got the windows up. Hopefully this is going to be a really great episode. And I have no glitches today, because we, we only had one glitch in the last episode, I believe. So I'm optimistic that there won't be any in this one. Um, in the middle, what I'm doing now at the moment is I'm getting ready to go back and fight Morty again. Because Morty was just too much for me to handle at the moment. So, sorry bro, no, you're a weird old man. Um, let's just say hello to this lady. Um, obviously, I did actually notice as well when... I ended the last episode. I actually have 40 Pokemon so far, and I'm actually really happy with that. Like, I'm trying my hardest to obviously catch and pick up Pokemon along my way through the game. But my plan at the moment is just to go into Olivine, and we're gonna go up the White House. Not White House, is White House? Lighthouse! But it's a white lighthouse, so, you know, that's a mouthful. Um, I'm going to go up there, because I know the, um, the gym leader is up there with the Ampharos. I remember that from when I played like the original Silver. And obviously I have actually played this game before, I'm not a complete noob. So, I think I have to like talk to her to set some stuff in motion. And obviously once I've done as much as I can here, I'm going to go back up towards Ecritique, go to the right, because there's a, another village I can get through by going through a mountain that I've forgotten the name of already. Pokefan Rouge. I think it's Mount Mortar. But don't quote me on it. I'm going to quickly look in the grass as well, because I feel like there's, there should be something in the grass, because I haven't been here during the daytime yet, I don't believe. Although it looks like it's just going to be normal, like, habitats and digis, probably. Ugh. Just the impression I get. You know, Eradicate is probably actually really good against Gengar, because he's immune to ghost attacks. Uh, Alright, obviously Spiral has pulled ahead, so I need to... Obviously, train the other things. Um, quickly go to the Pokemon Center on my way. Because I could really do with a top up. I wonder if that's the guy. Wait. Yes, please heal. Pokemon. Oh, you have to go to uh, Kanto before you can get a Super Rod, which is a sad thing to me because I really want Super Rod. <laughs> I like um, fishing in this game. Well, not I like the fishing, but I like water Pokemon. And the only real way I can get water. Po Wait, is this this is the lighthouse? I just can go up here and battle people. Yes, yes I can. Um, right, Axel, I'm very sorry, but you're not the right Pokemon for this bit. I'm going to use Spiral and probably Solari, maybe Sakura. Because obviously, the thing is, Sakura's not really that great at fighting Gengars, because of the fact that he's a poison type. Um, so, kind of negated by... But obviously, I've used Sakura like a long time now. And a good few episodes, and, like she was really crucial to me beating Whitney. Um, 
I kind of was relying on Sakura defeating Morty, but I had completely forgotten that it wasn't really ghost types he uses, it's ghost and poison. So, I kind of pooped on my man, he did. Hopefully though, I'm like Solari, but if I level up Solari and Axe on the Spiral, they should be powerful enough to take her. That was a really tanky knockdown as well. It took like three or four Thunder Shocks to beat it. You know what? You're an old gentleman. Oh, I thought I... Oh, no, I don't... I was actually going to say yes to you. Right, grass. Oh, should be water types now. So are uh, men of the land. Although I am a sailor at heart, I like being on the water, or in the water. I mean, I came to university by the sea, because I like the water that much. I've always thought that, uh, as much as I love Hollywag, I really feel like its eyes are just a little fraction off. I know the correct position that they should be, and I've just always found it really funny. Uh, rain continues to fall. Um, oh, keep battling. Solaris doing great. Um, cool. So one more. I think Thunder Shock. And I will win. Although he seems determined to treat me like he's a little bitch. <gasps> that was three times. It's not called triple slap. Um, I'm not really a fan of buff moves. I like to just overpower people before they can get buffed. No. Oh! Son of a bitch! That is a rude thing to say to me. Hello. How do I get to that side? That's a lot of birds. Nope. Alright, I did not mean to use tackle. I was gonna say, I thought like Fafi would be quicker than a level 15. I got 10 levels over it. <laughs> um. Ooh, ah. Ah. Right, I am gonna actually heal myself now, just because I feel like I've pushed it far enough. Right, so back to the thunder shock. Tech kick. Easy beasy. I wonder if this one's gonna be a decent level. He's got two more, so he I don't think there'll be nope level fifteen. He has reverted to maybe. Easy peasy. Uh, keep 
telling. Sorry, Flaff. I don't mean to like tire you out, but I'm kind of relying on you for the next gym battle against Morty. Because I can't see you too. But I, I don't know what else to catch. Because if you think about it, I need like the water Pokemon I want, I can't actually get to. Um, I don't really know what to have. This is my backup to Pokemon. Obviously, I am just, I'm, I'm literally just going to all of them and battling them because these are a great source of experience for me. That's fine. I'm a special attacking Fluffy. like a quarter of my original attack, but it doesn't really make a difference, because obviously Fafi is a special attacker. Easy peasy. Well, not like easy peasy, but yep, a little bit. No, not like easy. It's, it has been tough. I just... Obviously, I really did want to win. Um, I feel like that's pretty understandable, though. Um, I'm not going to answer the phone too long, but in the middle of training. Oh, wow, I came all the way up here for one item. I wonder what it is. I hope it's a water stone. But I could do with a water stone, if I'm honest. The computer is now teasing me about the fact that I can't find Meryl. I, I find that cool. Because I really want a Meryl. I just don't... I can't seem to find one in Mount Mortar. Like, while I was doing the last episode, I had to record it a few times because it glitches. Um, I think I ended up recording it like three times before I actually got the whole episode in one go. Or, like, didn't lose it because of, like, glitches. Um, and I tried to find... Um, like obviously a water, not water stone, like a marrow, and I just never could. Um, right, I guess I must have to go up the elevator because I didn't see the elevator like at all. Uh, you're telling me. then I missed something. I must have. Right, I didn't mean to go back down there. Um. It looks like a door. There we go, yeah it was. Candy. I think it's the first one I've found in this game. 
Um. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll use it on Solari. Because I think, like, she evolves at level, um, 31 maybe? Or 32? So, an Ampharos would be really useful for, um, beating Morty. Like, I feel like I really could beat Earth. It could be a Water Stone, so I need to get it. Because obviously, a Polyrath would be, like, a really good Pokemon to have. Plus, like, really easy to beat water type trainers at the moment because I have, like, really, really. Like, in this episode, I think I've spent the whole time training Solari. Like, maybe I've spent, like, one or two Pokemon battles, like, with a different Pokemon, but it's the re like, the majority of it has been with Solari. Um, because I'm trying to get her up into an Ampharos level. just an ether. I mean ether's a pretty good item, it's just oh, yeah. I know you're a bird trainer. Because it's kind of actually like, you know, it's pretty good. I mean not like but it's useful because I'm trying to train my electric Pokemon. So having to fight water and Sorry, I'm trying to say words, I just seem to lose them. Um, keep battling with Solari. I just, I mean, this XP is just too good to pass up. that to be a water zone, I think, to be honest. Um, I, I don't know if I have an escape rope, but I'd really like one right now. Um. <laughs> Lighthouse is a lot taller than I remember, but it, it's just like a, a school of experience for Solari, which is really all I really wanted. Um, my Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, like, I even used it in X and Y battling online when I had um, a 2DS. That broke. I broke a lot of my consoles. I just, <laughs> just thinking about it. I broke a Wii, I broke a Wii U, I broke a, a DS. I broke an Xbox like, controller a while ago. Um, I don't mind finding you, but I really wanted that item first. I suppose sailors would actually be pretty good for um, getting gym badges because they can get gym badges from all over the world. I'm 
not prioritizing experience points on Sakura at the moment because of the fact that she isn't going to help me with Morty's gym. I mean, I can kind of use Sleep Powder on Haunter if he doesn't one-shot her. Which kind of gets me like one turn of freedom. So definitely saving now, because I feel like I'm 22 minutes into the video. Um, I don't really want to lose the data, especially after like all of the levels I've gotten. Cool. Let's pick up this. Oh, it's just a repel, sadly. I was sure that there was a water stone in here, but I guess I was wrong. This is, yep, yeah, top floor. Oh, thank you, Desmond. That's <laughs> it just stops me having to go um, back down through all of the levels, which you know are kind of kind of lazy, but you know. Thank you. Um, I would like to leave now. I was just wondering what she said. Um, right, so I love everyone down here, I believe. Um, uh, there. Can I actually go into this area, or is it kind of a uh, no? It's a no no. Oh, what's. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. Can I go through here? I can, but there's nothing here. Weirdo. Um, can you let me through, or do I actually have to? Ugh. I want to go and fish. I can't fish on the beach because some dick is blocking it. Um, right, so... I'll obviously heal, but healing would be a pretty sensible thing to do right now. Um, yes, nope. Ugh. Yes. Uh, so cool, once I've healed, I'm going to head back up towards Ecritique, go... I think there's like one or two trainers I missed on the way there. Um, so paddle them, paddle him or her. I think it might just be one to be honest. Um, 
They go through equity and go towards. Oh, I don't know what the city's called. It's the bay. You go through Mount Mortar. Um. Or do I go? Ah. Uh, interesting. Because like, should I go back down and to Goldenrod and get a water stone or decisions? I think you know actually going back and getting a um. Uh, water stone would actually be really sensible, um, because it'd be a pretty big power spike spiral. I think this is the way to Ecrotique. No, um, Golden Rod. I don't have anything with... Cut, though. Because if I can just catch something with Cut, that would really save time. That would be perfectly. Um... Sorry. Uh, paralyze it. Probably would have paralyzed itself anyway. <laughs> um, ball. What about the Great Ball Swarm? Obviously, I'll, I'll still use normal Pokeballs for anything I want in my team, but the Great Balls are going to make catching wild Pokemon just a little bit easier. Um, and I've got a lot of wild Pokemon left to catch. Right, so obviously you go into the bag. TM's next. There it is. Good. Nope, nope. Um, yes. Yes. And. Like, I'm not really going to teach like two of my main Pokemon cut, am I? Just would it be sensible? Wait, what did? Yes. Right, I thought it had actually just. Um, Burned it twice, my bad. Yeah, forget that move, I don't need to growl on a Nidoran. Well, I'm saying that I'm not really going to use the Nidoran, so... Right, cool. That's all sorted. Uh, use, obviously, cut here to get through this area. This is the downside to not having fly yet. So we've got 15 minutes left of the episode. So what I'm going to try and do is obviously oh, I'm not going to. I am going to go back. Just use that quickly to speed this up. <laughs> It'd be really cool if I just randomly ran into um, Raikou. Which I technically could. I don't know where he is, but I can coincidentally run into him. Which would be awesome, because I could completely and utterly massacre uh, Morty if I had a Raikou. Because Raikou, like, I think he spawns at my level 40 in the game. Is it Wacken Berries? Oh, it's not. It's Bibi Bab Babiri Berries. A Silk Scarf. That doesn't sound so bad. I think it's normal abilities though. Um, bag. Let's have a look quickly. Yeah, normal moves. Um, you get to the third floor. Okay, like third or fourth floor. Battle collection. Don't need battle items. The medicine box. Oh, what? Uh, 
Um, okay. And number three prize, the cherry berry. That sucks, wait. Can I at least, like, actually pull myself? Uh, sure. No, round two. The number two prize. Ooh, a nest ball. Ooh. The expender. Um. Okay, I'm kind of surprised. I do want to go down, but I just want to... Oh, yeah, that's the awesome. Uh, fresh waters are my favourite drink because it heals like 50 health. So it's a super potion for the price of a normal potion. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here. Bam, clicking. I'll actually, I'll buy a load, but I'll I'll skip it in the video, so. Or I won't actually, because I'll probably forget. Because this is like just something really tiny. It's not like when a glitch happens and I can re remember it. Because I hate glitches. To be fair, like, this is helpful. To me. I wish you could buy like a quantity of them. Um, wait. What do you do? Um, so I guess it must be level like one or two actually that gives you the stones. That's, I mean, that's if I can... Nope. I must be able to buy stones on this. Oh, Almost went back down. So, obviously, this is a glitch, so i got to save and reset. Right, obviously. Cool. Let's solve that. Um, I don't actually think I can buy stones. Um, unfortunately. Right, so um, I guess I'm going to go back out now. Uh, right, so I'm going to head up. Um, I can't actually get water stones. So... I've got to wait until I can get the National Pokedex, apparently. Which is something I didn't know. Um, it's a bit of a nuisance. Um, tag. Repel. One more. There we go. Right. I was actually just reading like a a thing on a website. It, it does say that you have to either go back where the bug contest is and go there and you can can get um uh, if, if you play for a while you get a stone or you, you get points and you can buy a stone with those points. But um it would take a while, I imagine, so I'm just gonna skip it. Polywell's pretty good. He's a tough, tough cookie. Um, like I said, I've headed back up to Ecritique. I'm gonna go carry on with the original plan, which is to go through Mount Mortar. <laughs> and um, this might tell me where. Mahogany Town, that's where we're going. Oh, yeah, I get pushed now by a guy. Um, cool, yeah, no, it's fine, you're fine, you're fine. Okay, thank you for hitching for. Um, thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm gonna pick up Shadow Claw. Obviously, I know what this is. Um, <laughs> right. In we go. Obviously, I can't just surf over it. I love that Meryl was on that picture. It's like it, it know the game knows I want a Meryl, and it's like. <laughs> 
I'll show you it, but you can't have one. Zubax. You know what? I might as well catch this. Although, actually, you know what? No, it's, it's, it would take forever for me to train it, like, ten levels. So I'm gonna not have a Zubat now. The question is, did I... I must not have actually come here yet in this... I know I did in a different video that I lost. I must have lost it. Um, otherwise, I would have actually... Um, right. Not running, not running, not running, running. Right, so there's two trainers here. But there's a water trainer here, which is what I want. Oh, that cool fish. Actually, quite a rare Pokemon. Not, not rare, but... Easy peasy. Um, and that's all you had? <laughs> no. Uh, take on these guys. Then probably give some of some experience because obviously that's a rock trainer. I need arena. It's a relatively impressive Pokemon. See, the thing is, like, the trainers here, level 17. Like, no trainer has been ridiculously high leveled. Um, whereas, obviously, Morty has level 25. The Pokemon, so I need, I need experience. I need more experience. And I need tougher opponents. I was always thought that Morty is actually like. People complain about Whitney and how much of a quote unquote jump in difficulty she provides. I've always thought the same, not, I don't actually find, I fear Whitney because of her reputation, but I'm not actually that bothered by her. Um, like only when I've got Chikorita, which is a lot of the time to be honest, but I normally have, this is the first time I've done it with just Johto Pokemon. Um, so normally I pick up something that can handle her. Like Scyther is actually pretty good against her. Um, Right, Pokemon swap. I'm sorry, I've still got that need right. Uh, I'll come back for you actually. Welcome to Mahogany. <laughs> Just a gift center. That looks like a weird tree. Um, to me. I believe though up here you can. There's more trainers. Exactly, there you go, more trainers. Um, I think this is where you have to go to get yourself a... Like, the red Gyarados is up here. I'm not obviously going to get the Gyarados now, but this is where you go. Because I, I can't actually... Uh, get one. On the plus side, Ampharos, um, Laffy is really close to evolving into an Ampharos. So I've got five minutes left in this episode, I might be able to evolve her. It would be quite nice to do so. Oh, Sand Slash. Easy. This is why I like water Pokemon. They're just they're awesome, and like Surf is really strong. <laughs> um, right, if you go that way, you have to pay gold. Um, I don't want to use give up my gold. Uh, I don't actually I haven't been here yet before. But I might as well try and like find Pokemon. There must be something here in the water. There we go, I've got something. I don't know what it is though. 
Well, oh, it's just a magic up. You know what, I should have used um, the... the rare candy on a level 20 magic art just to get Gyarados's. Although I will get Gyarados's entry, won't I? Obviously I'm probably going to catch the red Gyarados. Probably won't use it because I don't like Gyarados, I think it's too powerful. And also first generation bitches! So, I won't use it. But, although saying that, I'm using Polyworld right now. But it is just because I can't find any other water Pokemon. Although, let me just... Uh, Okay, it, it is a, it is the updated uh, fishing rod. I was just worried that I had somehow forgotten to change to the newer rod. But I think all I can find is Polyworks. The Lake of Rage. <laughs> that was like a happy place. What have you got? No, I hate the fair. Oh, back when I was playing uh, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Red, when I was a little kid, Polyrath was like one of my favorite. Not my favorite, but it was like a Pokemon I'd always have on my team. He was such a good Pokemon back in the day. If I can recall, my team was. Uh, Polyrath, Persian, Articuno, Venusaur, because, you know, grass power, ah, bitches! Um, to be fair, I used to actually prefer Venusaur to Squirtle. Kind of just changed from Bulbasaur to Squirtle when I grew up. I don't know why, just did. Um, what else did I, I had a right to, because of the anime's Pikachu, you just had to. Um, had two other things, what were they? Cubone, like Cubone Marowak, sorry. And I had Nido King and Nido Queen, but I alternated which one I used. Because they pretty much did the same thing back then. The thing is, I had loads of different Pokemon, like I'd have a different team where I'd have Kabutops and um, like either Vaporeon or Flareon. Never Jolteon, I never, like, never really cared for Jolteon. I don't dislike it, I think it's a really cute Pokemon, but. Um, I just kind of preferred, like, Flareon looks really soft and cuddly, and Vaporeon's a water type. Maybe. Although, to be fair, they all lose. Like, I think my all-time favourite Pokemon are Piplup, Umbreon, and Marowak. They're my, my top three favourite Pokemon. Just because Marowak's a badass. Um, can you, are you actually hurt by electric moves? You are okay, that's fine. Although, when is Fluffy gonna learn something more powerful than Thundershock? I've just realised it. It's been like. I learned Thundershock almost 20 levels ago. <laughs> I haven't learned any new moves to, apart from Thunder Wave since then. Well, where, where are the decent electric decks? What do really do with them? Need a Reno. Token Minion. I wonder what all of these trainers were in the original Pokemon game. This is normally where my Flaffy evolves as well in Pound Pro, so this kind of take a rage. Just because I, I pretty much always have Ampharos on my team. Give me their phone number. Weird. Oh wait, there was an item. I should probably go get it. I don't know what it is. Oh, Flappy! My Flappy stronger. Although actually, we're at 45 minutes in, in like a couple of minutes. So, I'm gonna quickly just pick up this. Max Ether. That was like a movie. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll do this one Pokemon battle, and then we'll call it a day.
which is a shame because I, I want to play so much more. I, I genuinely want to carry on playing. Um, I suppose I should start being immature. Um, <laughs> it's not immature to want to, you know, it's, it's afternoon time, I'm just chilling. Been to uni today. I worked kind of hard. Not like really hard, but I did obviously take notes and everything about my course. I look forward to just coming back home and relaxing. I've only got one year left, but then I go out to the world of work. There'll be no more YouTube channel. Be no more chilling about. Be me, the horses, and more in my job. Which, to me, somehow sounds perfect. Uh, I'm a weird man. Really weird. Lucky. <laughs> I know I said I was going to save it, I just want to have a quick look, see if I missed anything. Which I had, because I missed this guy. Please don't glitch the game. <laughs> have a battle. We should. I agree with your hypothesis. We should always battle. Um, magic up. I don't really like your style, if I'm honest. <laughs> ah, there we go, buddy. Isn't that better? I actually sent out something that could be a challenge. You can cut my attack all you want. I'm a special attacker. Cool. That was, you know, pretty easy. <laughs> I like funny Gyaradoses, they're just free experience for other Pokemon. Electric Pokemon, to be precise. Oh! Come on, man! I really liked the fact that you had given me a Gyarados. Why can't you just give me one more? has evolved. I feel infinitely better about fighting Morty now. Oh yeah. I don't really encourage you being violent, Amphi, but I'm willing to allow this because it's a new electric move and it's it has legitimately been 20 minutes. Or well, maybe not, I don't remember like what level you got on the wave. But it's been a long time since you got into new move. <laughs> um so Thunder Punch. Cool. So we can we can save it there. I'm happy with that. I got Ampharos. It's it's been a good episode. Got loads of experience. Um and I had a great time. Obviously next weekend we'll try and beat Morty again. So have a lovely week. Look forward to seeing you then. Bye!